contribute to the Elias and Neshama. Avlei Ablima Bas Shalom Moshe, Hala HaShalom. I to mention as well the yard site today, Rabbi Lezer Ben Yoshua. All of us, Shalom, our dear and beloved Rabbi Elias Arharwitz, the Halig and Neshama Shmi Zacharu, tremendous continuous Elias and Neshama, and the Gan Eden Shamayla Mechayil Lechayil. It's well known the Briskarov described the Patira of the Chazanish as now having a world bereft of the Chazanish and an Olam Achel Legamri. The Hainu, there's a world with the Chazanish and there's a world without the Chazanish. And it's an Adar it's a different world Legamri. It's not the same Metzias, the Chazanish drastically altered the whole reality, not only what it means to be someone who sits and learns, but the whole Musig of Kolel. Imamish changed the entire world into a different world in the Masmid Otsum than he was. And not only that, he was someone who learned L'Shem Shamayim, totally Torah L'Shema. Arkadei Kach, a wonderful sefer called Bachatzar HaLevi Alikut, a various droshes and mamorim, piske halocha hespedim of the Baal Shevet HaLevi Rav Wasner. And in the sefer they quote Legabe Perkei Ovis and Dafresh Tzani Zion, that in his droshes, the Shevet HaLevi said in his hespen on the Chazanish, if you find someone who says it's not shy to get to the highest madrigas of Talmud Torah Lishma, and this generation, Atana HaKadosh Baal HaChazanish, Machisha. The fact that there was a Chazanish in our world to learn Torah Lishma, and that will serve as the Achosha. He taught the world, or oh, Akiyom of Rameyer's famous statement at the outset of Perak in Yantaira, Perak Vav, the last Perak in Perkei a collection of rice is subsequently added on to the original five prokim, comprising Perkei Ovis, or Meir, as Ravaza goes on to say, even though there were many colleagues of Rabbi Meir, who Taka was Zoycha to learn the Shema, and Taka was Zoycha to Dvar Marbe, Zok to the Baal Sheva to Levi, but only Rabbi Meir had the guts to say it. Only Rabbi Meir got up to say, I want you to know that if you learn to learn the Shema, you Zoycha to Dvar Marbe. It took Rabbi Meir to be so bold and brazen to get up and make a statement. But he says, we have a Chosenish in our generation, and he lived it, and he talked with Zochur and Varm Harbe. Part of that Lishma was, of course, uh, the Hasmoda that he displayed, that he manifest, the Bechina of what Chazal told us in the end of Masechus Brachus HaMakimel HaMarbeis, uh, based on a Pesach in this week's Parsha Shkuka, Zosa Torah, Adam Kiyomus Pa'ol State in Chazal, Heina Tormus Kayemus El of Misha Mamus Atzmo Ale, Misha Mamus Atzmo Biolo Shotaira. That's where the Torah is going to find its Kiyom. And the stories are plenty regarding the Chazanish. There's a time in Asfarim. He says, Chirushi Harash, Faina Tochas Yodi case. So it's God by Yastim Rebbe, what do you mean? It's right here on the shelf. He says, Yeah, but I was learning with such a smonda that I didn't even have the Koach to lift up my hand and to pull the Chidushi Rashba off the shelf to call it verbatim. And Mela Chidushi Rashba, Eino Tachas Yodi case. It's not Tachas Yodi, the well known story of the Chazanish. Uh, he used to learn every night until he had just enough Kayach to crawl on all fours to go into his bed. I was right opposite the desk. And one morning, Gabai came to wake him up of a Sikin and he saw the Chazanish was on the floor. I says, Rebbe, my what are you doing on the floor? He says, Every night I learned until I have just enough Koch from my Asmoda to get down and to crawl the few feet into my bed. He says, So what happened last night? He said, Last night I made a wrong Cheshbon. He learned a little bit too much. I didn't even have the Koch to crawl into his bed. That was the Asmoda. Of the Chazanish, someone who lived the Mamus Atzmolev and his Torah and his Tfila, that's to us, Chazal, Eina Tormus Kayemus Ela Bemisha Mamus Atzmolev. Beautiful Sefer of David Kohn, of David Kohn from Chemran, wrote a number of Svarim, and this just came out in other Aleph this year, Lekach Dovid, Ala Torah from Oadim, in addition to his. Uh, you may as much some chaseinu on sukkis, and he has you may a purim on purim. A number of on this farm, gemal the genu sefer likut of chidushim on the Torah and on the moadim. So in this week's parshas chukas, he ponders the obvious question: Tzarech beer, alama ba Torah l'rami zolini and zedavke b'parshas paraduma. 
After all, this is so yisodi, it's so fundamental, asmana satayra. Now, we discussed in the past why the very idea of to a male matayra, and why did the Torah wait until Parshish Bechukosai to be Maramis to the Ninian? That's something we addressed. Interesting. Bechukosai, Chukas, Bechukosai. We have two a male matayra, and a Parshish Chukas, we have Mamis Atzmalah. So one has to wonder, as with David Kohn Roshiva from Hebron Ponders, and why is it that the Remes of Taira Miskaye? Why is it couched against the backdrop of Paraduma Bifrat? What's it doing over here? So he wants to explain based on the Ramchal. All right, in the Sefer Yaakad Yadir Samas. Abizman Shain Paraduma. Hatikon Shekayim and Komahu Bimasha are the Mamas Atzma Alatayra. And he goes on to explain, fascinating, in Yonah, but Ramchal says, a paraduma, that's what's mechaper, and that's what is ma'al, a person from Tuma to Tahara. And when you don't have a paraduma, what's going to take a person from Tuma to Tahara? Ach, barak, taira, but not stam taira. And now it's got to be Torah Lishwan, it's got to be Torah B'Bechidis, a mamus atzmola, as high level of asmon, the rabbi be'atzumo, and that will take a person from the depths of Tuma's mace, and we ma'al him to an Yonah Tahara. In fact, in the Gemaldiga Sefer, Arab Shlomo Levenstein's Chaim Shotaira. Beautiful Remus, he cites, uh, quoting uh, the Admor Ami Vishva in the Sefer Sheiris Menache. says, if you take the word Tomei and you write out the word Tomei Bimiluo, the Hainu, the Tes, the Mem and the Aleph, Tes is Tes Yudsaf, Gemachia 419, a Mem is Mem Mem. 40 and 40, that's 80. Aleph is Aleph, Lam and Fe. Come out to 111, that comes out to 610. Said the Hainu, if you have a person who is Tommy, that means Tommy Bimiluo. He is saturated, he's filled with Tuma. Open up the word Tommy, the Hainu. Open up the respective letters comprising the word Tommy. Open up the test, the Mem and the Aleph. And it yields Sachakol, the Gematria Tali of 610. And Tyra is what? Tyra is Gematria 611. To tell you, even if someone is Mole Tuma, even if you're filled with Tuma, you're Tome. Uh, Tyra has one above. Tyra is Odif over that Tuma. And it could take you out of the state of Tuma to go from 610 and carry you higher to 611. Tyra, Gematria 611. Uh, tell me when all the letters are spelled out, Gematria 610. Torah will always be you no matter how low you sink. So back to Rav Kohn we go. On the end of the day, he told us, based on the Ramchal, how that Pura Duma, which is Ma'ala, a person from Tuma to Tahara, so to the Torah will be Ma'ala you from Tuma to Tahara. So what's this idea all about? As he says, that Misa disappeared with Kabbalah Satayra. We know that Bishas Kabbalah Satayra, we got to a Gaval de Gamadrega of Adam Rish and Kona Machet. Adam Rish and Kona Machet is the Klayakar, and others discuss. That means we got to a level where the Zuma, the Tuma, instilled and imbued in us. Ayyadeh, the Nachash, was purged the Lagamri. We were totally cleansed and we were not shy to Misa. That means there's no Misa anymore. So what happens now with Chet HaEgel? Chet HaEgel reintroduced Misa to the world. And we were cleansed and purged to the degree uh, that we masalek Misa me'alat me'nu. Along comes Chet HaEgel. What did that do? That brought Misa back to the world. Amela. Just like Paraduma, the Indian is taking away Tumas Mace and bringing you back to a state of Tahara. So to the Torah Kedosha does what? Uh, Torah Kedosha tells you go back to the Indian of Tyra, uh, where you had Kabbalah Satora pre Cheta Egel, and you were Chaiser to Dargis Adam Risha Konamachet, uh, before there was any Musig of Misa in the world. Uh, go back to that. And mainly says that's why the Tikkun has to be. Uh, as the Rabbim writes in Ochoshuba Praktesel Lechalev, Hashem gave us the Tyra Zu Eitz Chaimi, and anyone who lives the Tyra is connected to the Tyra. And uh, that's Eitz Chaimi Lemachasikima. And since the God tells us in his parish at Safan Tzuyusa, Avamisa was Nigzor and Adam Achilam Eitz Adas. That's by going after the Eitz Adas, which was Nechman Lamare. It was Taiva Hulainayim. It was going after Chumrius, Artsius, and Gash. Uh, being mamus atzmo biolo shatora says I want to be masalek has atzmi from the world of taiva the world of chumrius artsis and gashus I want to leave the world of the itzadas and I want to go after the world of the itzachayim itzchayim mi lemachzikim ba if you hold on to it I know you're mamus atzmo I'm holding on to it for dear life uh, this is my life I go back to itzachayim 
since the Eitzadas is that which brought me into the world, uh, by attaching yourself to the Torah, and uh, so to the Yitzchayim, you go from leaving me behind, and you go back to the world of Torah, just like Paraduma, uh, takes you from a state of Tuma, and it's Ma'ala you to a state of Tara, Ad Kadra of David Kahn, and may the word you're going to find the Remez, Baruch Hashem HaKim Lohman Beis, Zos HaTorah Adar Kiyos, Baal HaTorah is only Miskayemes, Ela B'Misha Memes Atzvala, where's it going to be, the backdrop, how apropos the Rekha specifically, a paraduma that takes away the tuma, takes away the tuma's mace, and brings you back to world of Tara in the same manner the Tara. A pre chet egel brought you to a matzav. A pre chet eitz adas. Anytime you may miss atzvaleh, and you must salik yourself from this world, uh, the world that's highlighted by the eitz adas tovera, and you're menatik yourself from the arts yeschumri yisagashus of taivus and tanugi olam hasen. You cling steadfast instead on today it's chaimi lemachazikima, and then you go back from a world of misa to a world of chaim of eitz chaim. And the meila, that's a yomasalik. Uh, the Indian of Misa. Melo, we could explain. Uh, the same way by Purim, Megillah, Yerbeis, Amnalf, there was a Gezeira, uh, that was Nigzera, Anklai, Sovenina, Nischaivu, Sanim, Shari, Sob, Osador, Klia, the Haile Garash, Biestas, Tamidim, and Eshan, and we said, Osador, Shalos, Rosho, and then he tells them, and Eshan, Shtachmu, Litzelem, Pereyashu points out, of other both are true, says, very Gishmak, and then we said, they got too much on no, uh, from Gashmi, and Solomon, so what's going to be the Tikkun? Uh, the Tikkun is Hodr, Kiblu, of Amea, Chashverish. I'll go back and re accept the Torah. Re accept which Chalik and Taira, how the Kiblua based on the Minister Chumanach, let's re accept, are the part of Torah Shuapel, the part of Amelus, are the Mamus Atzma Leha, a Purim time when the whole hate, the whole Avlan Takala commenced when you derive too much on Noah, are from Tanugi Ol Mazah, from the Suda of Achashverish. The Tikkun understandably has to be, how the Kiblua Mamea Chashverish. Amela, as we close the Shia this evening, uh, perhaps we have another Mahalech. Why Hashem gave Para Duma to Klaes already and Mara? We know Rashi tells us, even though they're different as Chos, Rashi in Meschonen has them all, but in Beshalach, Sham Sam Lachok Mishpat Mesham, he sold him and But we know that in Mara we got to what? Shabbos, Para Duma, keep it up, Aim and Dinim. Dinim, we understand before you get to Matam Taira, has no society, no societal framework and structure. Without Dinim, you have to set up a judicial, a legislative system in order to function normally. And properly as a society, a Shabbos, more than the year and keep Shabbos, Shabbos keeps the Jews. You can't go in and have anything without the foundation of Shabbos, without keeping of aim. How are you going to respect the creator of all and without first recognizing your own biological creator? So keep it of aim, even if you hold it to on the chayyim, it's got to be in the right side of the Lucas, because I have to understand what it means to respect and revere a biological creator so that I can then channel that to the creator of all, the Melech Malchi Amaloch. But Paraduma, Frank, the Velt, the Kashu, it's Paraduma, Mara. Paraduma is only Shaykh when you build the Mishkan. That's only going to be post Chayt Ego. Why do you need Paradum and Mara. Along comes the Sam Sefer, the Kleyakar, Rabbi Yaakov Karensky, name is the Yaakov, Rasalavechik, and Reflections in the Rav in the second volume. And Bechona Masa Masina, you know why they need a Paraduma? Because that established the Gisha, the approach to all the Mitzvah Torah. You're going to think the Torah, I'll do what makes sense and I won't necessarily do. And what doesn't make sense, the Chukim, no. Along comes the ultimate Chok of Zos Chukim Satayra, Paraduma, the Chok, that's Malami, the culture, Kula, that even the things we think we understand, we have to do them as if we don't understand them. That's setting the stage for the proper approach to all the mountain terror. The Phineas Taiti, based on this Hezbo, what do we have today? I know Paraduma is there to tell you what, you know what Torah is? When you're going into be Makabal, the Torah, just say Paraduma, as that which takes you from Tumas Mace. And even if you're mired, Shakul, Lagamri, and Tuma, the ashes of the Paraduma can be mali from your Tuma to Tara. So too, when you go for the Torah, it's not just the Mitzvah Satara, the Chukim and the Shpotim, how to live your life. It's much deeper than that. It's going to be all transformative. It's going to take you, no matter how lowly you sink in life, Memta Shari Tuma, the Koach of Kedusha Satara, Tara 611 will take you out of Tomei. 610, no matter what, Kedusha Satara will always be Ma'aliyus, and no matter how lowly you sink, Paraduma sets the right tone, the stage for the approach to be Makabal, all the old Tara. 
know that we're every holding in life the Kedusha Satorah Kavimaliyu from the lowest of the low, from the abyss of all depravity and immorality, and it can be Malayu to what? To Igrarama, to the highest, the loftiest of all spiritual heights, but it's got to be built on Mamus Atzmo, Be'ol of Shatayra. Have a wonderful night and a great rest of the weekend.